So I watched my first video back and I realised there were a number of mistakes in that video. Mistakes where I said I was taking a picture at these settings and then the picture actually showed you might not have been at those settings because I took a, another picture but didn't include that film in the video. It sort of was a bit disjointed and a bit broken. And some of the actual technical elements of it weren't very good either. So today, Sunday, I thought I'd come out again and try for another video. As you will have seen from the, uh, the footage at the beginning of this film, I'm in a little place called Tankerton, which is just along from Whitstable on the Kent coast. About half an hour from where I live. It's about five minutes to sunrise, I think, something like that. And the sky's looking quite good. So I thought that might make an interesting picture. So I'm going to set up and see if I can get that shot and film it and show you what I'm doing. So that's sort of the composition that I'm after, which is not a bad view, given we really haven't got a fantastic sunrise. So all I've done, there's my camera, all I've done is set the camera up, obviously compose the shot, focused on one of the groins nearest to me, which is about a third of the way in, I guess. I've set the ISO to the lowest possible, which is 50 on this camera, using the extended ISO function. I've set my aperture to around f8, and then I've set the shutter speed to give me a good histogram. And then I've applied a three stop filter at the front and I've exposed for the sky, for the middle ground and for the foreground, taken three shots and I will blend those in Photoshop and hopefully that will be a, a good shot. And if so, I will put that up now. I also took a shot in that direction. I did exactly the same thing. Basically, the settings were the same. ISO 50, F8, played around with the shutter speed until I got the histogram where I wanted it. Put the three stop filter on, exposed for the sky, for the foreground, and for the middle ground. And again, if that works, and I've blended it properly in Photoshop, I'll put that one up as well. couple of other things that I did just so you're aware. I made sure it was on manual focus because I do like to focus manually. I switched the image stabilization off on the lens because I'm on a tripod and I don't want that interfering and softening the image. Uh, I made sure the camera was level before I took the shot. I think that's probably about it really. Now I'm going to compose another shot which is along the beach. I'll show you that now. I'm just wondering if I can get a shot along the beach there. There's a boat which you probably can't see on the beach. It's quite interesting. So I'm going to compose that, go through that now.
So I captured a third shot along the beach as I suggested. I'll blend that again. It was three exposures just to make sure that I exposed right for the sky. Settings were basically the same and I used the three stop just to dull those highlights down in the sky. If that works, I'll put that one up now. There are definitely a lot more shots to be had down here especially if when you come down the tides in. Unfortunately at this time of year sunrise tides always out and it's been out for a couple of hours it won't be in for about four hours something like that, four or five hours so I must come down here when the tides actually in but you have to fit it around other things don't you so at the moment that's not happening I have found another shot though. So I've moved down from the position I was in, which was just a little bit up there. And I'm shooting out across the bay. Let me set that up and then I'll walk through it with you. So the settings are the same. ISO 50, F8, focus about a third of the way into the image. I'm using a three stop again, by the way. So I'll take the first one, which is for the sky, got a two second timer. Let's take a quick look at that one. That's really good. So now, move you over here. So I can use my right hand. I'm just going to adjust the exposure by changing the shutter speed. watching my histogram so now it's exposed properly for the foreground and also the mid ground so I'll take that shot see what that came out like yep that's good another one again I'll blend those together in Photoshop and if it works, I'll put that one up now. The sky looks absolutely amazing. So out there over the sea. What a beautiful morning. So hopefully this video makes a little bit more sense than the first one. I'll try and edit it in such a way that there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying one thing and then showing you something else. I want to edit this and try and get this out today if possible. So busy busy. But anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please subscribe and you'll know when I've uh, posted another video if you hit the notification icon. If you liked this please give it a thumbs up, that helps. And like I say I hope to get this out today, Sunday, and hopefully another one next week. Until then, bye bye.